Kia ora, good evening. A new report has revealed shockingly high levels of mental distress in pregnant women and new mums. Half of all new mothers in Aotearoa, New Zealand, experience mental health distress and suicide is the le leading cause of death during pregnancy and the postnatal period. The report by the Helen Clark Foundation is calling for change and we warn you, the following story is about anxiety and depression and it could be triggering. Health correspondent Lucy Warhurst reports. I'm going to give her a kiss. Just burp her. <laughs> Author and mum of two, Emily Wrights, is already teaching her seven-year-old son, Ronnie, good parenting skills. But she struggled during her second pregnancy with him. It's you know, uniquely distressing in some ways because you're carrying a whole other person or you're looking after, you know, a little one that's completely dependent on you for care and yet you really need care yourself as a mum. She says she was lucky to get help after her husband reached out. Because it was actually so simple to get better once I got the help that I needed. But our statistics are sobering. Suicide is the leading cause of death during pregnancy in the postnatal period, with wahine Māori three times more likely than non-Māori to die this way. The numbers are relatively small in total numbers of, of deaths by suicide, but our suicide rate is seven times higher than that in the UK, yet we have very similar maternal mortality rate to them on every other uh, measure. So wow. we're clearly getting something very wrong here. The report makes several recommendations, including expanding public housing for pregnant or new mums, increasing funding for midwives, Kopapa Māori initiatives to improve perinatal mental well-being and extending ACC coverage to include mental injuries from birth trauma. Holly Walker told News Hub Nation it's widely needed. Up to half of all new birthing parents in Aotearoa, New Zealand at the moment are experiencing symptoms of depression and anxiety. Dr Tanya Wright says it can impact childhood development and it's best to get help early. When you intervene early, it's much easier to do something about it, to re direct a trajectory, yes. whereas if you start to be trying to repair problems downstream, you're into a whole different realm. There's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel, but we can't expect mums to walk that tunnel on their own. Emily Wright says it's everyone's responsibility to reach out to new mums to make sure they're OK and offer help. Lucy joins us now, and Lucy, those statistics are sobering. What else is needed to improve things? Well, the report's author, Holly Walker, says that COVID-19 hasn't helped the issue, that we need to anticipate those at risk and prepare for the next generation. While Dr Tanya Wright says it's useful to look to overseas research, what's really needed is our own research, local thinking, culturally specific thinking that suits our own people in New Zealand. Lucy Warhurst, our health correspondent, Tenakwe. And if you feel you need to talk about any of the issues raised in that story, you can call 1737 to talk to a counsellor for free.